Hey everybody, my name is Atiyah and welcome back to my channel. This is Smooth Complexions. Um, first, before I get started, I would like to thank everybody that sent me prayers. Um, my uncle passed away on Sunday um, during my shoot. So um, I just want to tell everybody thank you so much for all your condolences. It's very, very, so much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, first, I'm just going to come at you with a little mini haul. I went to MAC on Saturday. I got a uh, Russian Red. Um, I love, I like it, but I'm taking it back because it's not me. It's like, it's a pretty red, but when it's on, it's like an orange red. I, and I just can't do orange at all. So, I flipped the script, people. And I want to try the Ruby Woo. Let me tell you, it is a matte. And when I say it goes on dry, it goes on dry. But when I say I love it, it is just the best lipstick. I, I just love it. I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I go to sleep with this lipstick. It is so nice. And Gwen Stefani West is lipstick as well. But what I was told is to wear it with, uh, you start your lip off with a prep and prime. I also got a prep and prime. It, uh, it helps the lips from bleeding. So you just put this on just like a regular gloss. And it helps that matte a lot. It really does. So, I put on my Ruby Woo. And then people, have you ever paid attention to, I think her name is Tina Thompson. She plays basketball. Y'all know she wears her lips. It's not red, but I think it's like a pretty plum, and it just stands her lips out. I mean, I feel like I'm Tina Thompson sometimes. But um, just without the basketball. But uh, I put mine with burgundy. And may I add up all this as well? I love this together. It's just perfect. people I'm a Ruby Woo girl also I got Cult of Cherry the gloss oh I could put this on top of it but mm -mm, I ain't messing this up it is so pretty if you can see this right here I put this on with the burgundy so pretty as well I seen another uh, lady she put her Ruby Woo on with Velvetella so I'm gonna try that a little later but, as well, I bought some Rollickin, the paint pot. I know I'm kind of late on it. It's this color. And they still had it, so I got that. And, let's see what else. Okay, that's the brush. And I bought the Prep and Prime for the eye. <coughs> but, I'm taking it back because I'm going to just stick to my Urban Decay because it just does not work the same. Just, I, I just don't understand. It just I tried it because of course I get a discount, but it's just not the same, people. So I'm just gonna go to Sephora and pay full price and just call it a day. But I'm gonna uh, oh one more thing. Y'all remember this people? My little thing I got to go with my wigs. This is my fourth one from Goody. If you have your receipt, you can always take it back to Walmart, Target, whoever, if it breaks. But I think this time I'm just going to get my money back because it's just like I, wore, I wear it two days. I take it off and it just broke. It breaks in two. It breaks in one. So I'm done. I'm not going to do it no more. I'm just done. So I just want to pass that along that if you do get it, be careful. But that's like my fourth one and I'm just not going to fool with it anymore. So I also got the Sonya cash up her set at target remember people i only had her two brushes if i can find it here oh right here remember i got the uh small eyeshadow brush and the blending brush now remember these are longer if you get them individually they will be longer but 
I got the set, and I found out the set. They had five pieces, and it also came with uh, a nice little bag, which is a plus, and it was $29.99. And it comes with the angle, the small brush, and um, a blush brush, a blush brush, and a groomer for your eye. But this is the difference. Same brush. Look how, see how big? This one's smaller. If you get in this set, it'll be smaller. The same thing, small brush. Also with the blending brush. See how big this, look at the top. I mean, so much different. So honestly, this, it just depends, I guess, how big your eye is and what you can work with. So I'm going to do that today because I've been getting a lot of emails. You know, people tell me, T, I got the hip, but... I look like a clown, it doesn't go right, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to just do a little step, this is not a tutorial, on how to do it. It's always good to start low. If you start low, you can't go wrong. So, I'm going to use the one that comes in my set, which is the small one, because if you get that, you know, you get five brushes, so I'm going to go with that. So, if you have some uh, a primer, put the primer on your eye. And I'm very heavy-handed, so I'm sorry. And I'm going to take a hip product. Because I have on black and white today, I'm going to go with the silver, the uh, platinum. So this is it right here. This is the small blending brush that came in the set by Sonya Cashnuck. Again, you can get that Target. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when start low. See, like right here. Just start at the bottom. Because if you start way up here, you can mess up quicker. So when you start low, like that, you can determine if you want to go higher or not. Right there. See? See how easy that was? So again, we're going to start low, people. Just start low. And then when you open your eye, you can see if that works for you. See? And if it doesn't, that's when you go higher and higher. So I want to stay there. Just say right now that that's where I want to be. So I'm just going to go however far I want to go. And again, if you want to do the bottom, this brush is small. All you have to do is go towards the bottom and just go like that as far as it is over. See? So, next, if you know you're going to use it for your other eye or you want to switch up another color, just take a little towel and just swipe it off. But, of course, I have Max uh, Brush Cleaner. You know, I clean my brushes uh, once a week. Sometimes uh, it just depends how much I use them. So, this is a small blending brush from Sonya Cashner from the uh, Five Piece Collection. So, I'm going to take the black part of the hip. I'm going to go to the black side. And, again, people, remember, you're going low. So, you're just going to go to the other side and just go forward. See how you're just going forward? Just blend it in with the silver. You just always ask God to guide your hands and you'll be okay. So just go forward and just keep telling yourself, I got this. I got this. So right now just just start making circles. Circles. Just go forward. That's it. Just blend it in with the silver. See that? Again, you just it's really up to you how much dark you want it on the edges. Just keep doing like that. And after this, I'm going to show y'all a little trick. See like that? So, just say, you're done. You're like, I got this. I'm done with that. You go and you take that small brush again. Go to the bottom. And you just black that side right there. Put some black on the edge of that. So, if you say on the side, you got uh, like some black just too far over. What I was told, if I... Uh, and Matt, they told me to take a cloth, fold it, fold it. If you got too much, you do like this, real quick, and you're going to have that angle. And you're going to have like a cat eye. So, that's the way you apply. Always start low, then work your way up how high you want it. So, I'm going to finish this off after the break. But again, like with the face, 
Like today, I was real light. I didn't do too much. I just put on my Studio Fix in NW43, and I just powdered my face. And a lot of people uh, email me that say they oily. I wear Max All Control, and I'm be I'm done. So I'm gonna do my other eyes, but people, I am loving mm -mm -mm, my Ruby Woo. So again, thanks everybody for all your condolences. Thank you, Sandra Rose. Thank you, Sandra Rose. <laughs> so uh, I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.